All right, so here is a little project I've been working on, and it's an aquaponics arrangement. It uses um, it uses some really basic, simple plastic window boxes from Lowe's on a little wooden base as the grow beds, and <coughs> excuse me, and it drains down into a 40-gallon aquarium. So just finished working out the basics of the hydraulics to get the water where I need it to be and to do the very important work of flooding and draining of the beds. Everything I read, um, flood and drain is really important for aquaponics, for the hydroponic aspect of this, this kind of system. So I did what I think most people do is try to construct bell siphons. It seems to be kind of the standard with what everybody's doing. Um, I couldn't get it to work. I, I, I got them to work in, in larger liquid tanks, but not in these little, um, these little window boxes. Tried different arrangements, emailed some people, played with the siphon tube, different diameters, all, all sorts of tweaks to the standpipe and ways of making it function, but I just found it to be really unreliable. And I kind of think that it might have to do just with the volume of water that's involved in these little window boxes. But in any case, what I finally arrived at, um, I abandoned all of the uh, bell siphon parts except the threaded nipple with the o-ring that I had sticking a hole through the bottom of each of these window boxes. And what I replaced it with was just a little arc of tubing, vinyl tubing. and. In order to keep it into the arc shape, we took some stones and zip ties and cobbled it together so that it holds the arc that I'm looking for. So these beds are, are flooding and draining. And the way it's working is that the uh, we've got this relatively small trickle of water coming in at the top, and this is the top the top uh, flood and drain bed. And as the water is filling this up. It's also filling the water in this vinyl tube. I'm going to just set the camera here. I'm going to rest it on here so we can watch this happen. Um, but basically, as the water level rises, it fills the water in the tube because there's no resistance on the opposite side because it's just open air, and it opens right out to its, its little drain. Um, so the water just kind of creeps up the tube as it's filling the rest of the tank. and when it gets to a critical point, it floods out of that tube at a greater rate than the flow of water com um, coming in, so it creates a drain effect, and it drains almost completely. Now this little thing, you can see this little head of water coming up. I googled it. It's called a meniscus, and as the meniscus creeps up that tube, and I'm not sure capillary action isn't involved with this too at some point because it gets to this kind of center point where it actually starts trickling water out but it still does creep along the tube so it doesn't get to a point of stability where the same amount is flowing in as is flowing out it still somehow seems to um, overwhelm the tube to the point where it starts to drain properly. So just keep watching this little meniscus creeping forward and you can hear it trickling down into that bed and you can watch it creeping forward even as it's doing that and boom that's it. So now this tiny little trickle of water is coming in and this nice big thick column of water is coming out and that's going to flood this bed and the same thing's going to happen through that little piece of tubing it'll flood this bed it'll flood this bed and in this case just because of the arrangement I have here I have it discharging out the end if I could have avoided this I would have because it definitely drains better when it's draining straight down a little bit but this works it goes right back into the fish tank, so hopefully the plants will have cleaned that water when it comes back to the fish. The other little detail that I hadn't anticipated but kind of struggled with was the power of the pumps. 
the first pump I got was just too small and it couldn't push the calm water up to the uh, to the highest tank so that was no good and I bought the next size up at our local Petco and it pushed so much water through it was like a garden hose so I had to figure out a way to regulate that and what I did is I just put a little PVC T on the outflow of that pump and then I put a little red, you see that little red handle is actually like a little faucet handle and that regulates the amount of water that you can kind of see moving back into the aquarium so what's happening is, is some of that water is being diverted and with it a lot of the pressure so I'm able to actually regulate a pretty powerful pump to put just a little bit of water into the top bed which allows again for the actual flooding and draining of that bed and well, this one's getting ready to go and we'll be moving on down the line